look at. Yeah. Mmm. This is his favorite part of making pancakes, is actually just licking <laughs> the dough from the bowl. If you guys haven't gone on to my YouTube channel, I did a review on this Hamilton Beach little flat top. This side is like the pancake thing, and then on the other side, it's a grill. We absolutely love it. We've been using it a lot lately, and yeah, we're really happy with it. All right. Those are Rory side shoes. Okay. Have her put her feet in there. All right. Nom, nom, nom. nom. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. All right, let's roll out your dough, okay? Roll it out for me, please. Smush it out. I'll get the rolling pin. You broke the spatula? No. Oh no! What? what are we gonna do with it now? It's a big rolling pin. What else? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I was able to put myself together <laughs> so that I could be face face ready. Um, and I'm thinking that the salt dough is gonna be done in about eight minutes-ish. So let's take a look. So I put it in at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'd say our dough is about a quarter of an inch thick and we just use regular standard cookie cutters. And I'm gonna say uh, they probably need about a total of 50, five zero minutes until they're done, but they're looking really good. And then once they're done here, I'll transfer them over to a wire rack where they'll dry for the rest of the day. And we probably won't paint them until tomorrow. I have the hungry horrors. Oh my gosh, I've had two bowls of Honey Nut Cheerios and I am still hungry. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I might make some SpaghettiOs. I know that may sound gross to some of you, but I genuinely like SpaghettiOs and have like a piece of bread with butter or something like that. I am just so 
hungry. Those are stickers. Do you know what those are for? Those are to decorate your Christmas trees. Look, these little trees right here. Did you want to put some stickers on that? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, well, let Mama get her food first. Apparently today is all about the arts and crafts. <clears throat> oh, beautiful. Mama. It's like light. Here you go. Yeah, you're putting some lights on the tree. Those are pom poms. Who got you those pom poms? Gma. Gma. Good job. You did a great job. Yay! So I love it. All right, we gotta let it dry now. Okay. Yep, that one. This one has flippy. Yep. Okay. This one has flippy. 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 Alright, ready? Flippy. Okay, sit down in your chair, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about, how about the yellow train? Can you show me where the yellow train is? <gasps> so good! And how about, how about the other yellow train? Can you show me where that is? <gasps> good job! And what train is left with no sticker? What train has no sticker? Can you tell me? This bit. The red one, good job! So proud of you! You did a great job. All right guys, so the book that he's working at is just a little book from the Dollar Tree that I had picked up. It's just a little preschool book. Um, and as you can see, he's not doing the activity exactly as it's intended. You're supposed to draw a line from one color to the next to match them up. But, you know, he's only two and a half. So he's not, you know, at the level of the book. Um, but he can still do it just in his own way. So instead of drawing a line, we're putting stickers and matching them up together. So this is a great way to kind of get him involved and get him talking and talking, yes, talking about shapes. Yeah, you want some stickers on that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Talking about shapes and colors and matching and, you know, that's really just... That's all it's about. It's not about to be perfect with these books um, at two and a half years old. That's just unrealistic expectations, but it's just getting them into learning, getting them interested, keeping their, um, you know, them peaked with interest in learning something new and doing it in a way that they want to do it. So anywho, that's my tip for you today. All right, guys, I am just getting some dinner in the Instapot here. We have some frozen chicken with Italian seasoning and some roasted red potatoes there on the horizon. All right, somebody requested to wash his feet. So we have some nice warm water. Right, Roy? 
Yeah, are you having fun? Look at all those bubbles on your hands. Yeah, look at all those bubbles. <laughs> Does it feel nice? Yeah. <laughs> it is significantly later, you can tell, and by the, the light and the shadow on the wall there that it is evening time. I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog for today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll be seeing you real soon. Bye.